two months left for INICT and Crossorontic feels like a mountain. You're not alone. This is a phase where most aspirants waste time rereading everything, but toppers follow a smart revision strategy, high yield and laser focused. Hi, I'm Dr. Sahil Dingra from Team Meritors. I was All India Rank 1 in 2021 INICT, and today I will be guiding you all how to revise prosodontics in a smart approach. Let's begin. So step one is you have to identify the high yield topics. But before that, we will talk about a little about the weightage of prosodontics in your INICT. So prosto has three components, CD, RPD, and FPD. In your INICT, the total prosto questions, including all these three are around 15 to 20. At times, they will ask around 21, 22 questions at max. So almost 8 to 10 percent is your prosthodontics weightage in INICET. Among this, 50 percent is CD. So let's say they are asking 20 questions. So around 10 questions will be from CD and 25 percent each from RPD and FPD. So the most important is your complete denture, which is going to carry half weightage for your entire prosthodontics syllabus. So first we'll talk about the CD only, which is the most important. In CD, we have a total of six chapters, starting from your impression procedures, border molding and posterior palatal seal, followed by jaw relations, teeth setting, articulators, special techniques, and your extra cover or miscellaneous. Now the most important topics, if we see in your CD, so you have to cover the CD in entirety because Almost 50% of the questions in Prosto will be asked from CD. So better to cover everything from CD. When it comes to CD, specifically the most important topics here are your impression procedures, wherein they will ask you about the techniques of impression making. They will ask you about the different techniques. Then in border molding and PPS, mostly they will be asking you about the PPS and the primary stress bearing and secondary stress bearing areas and the relief areas. So this is your PPS and in the impression procedures they will they can also ask you about the anatomical landmarks. So in Prosto what the thing is there are very specific topics in every chapter which you have to do. Similarly in your jaw relations you will read about VDR and VDO mainly, the vertical dimension at rest and at occlusion, and how to calculate what are the methods of recording jaw relation, these things. Teeth setting and articulators, here you have to focus in teeth setting mainly on your SPA concept, the dentogenic concept based on sex, personality, and age, that how you will identify the teeth selection in each cases based on gender, based on age, etc. In articulators, you will read mainly about the mean value articulator and your Hanau articulator in detail. And you have to know the classification for articulators, which is a non adjustable one, semi adjustable, or the fully adjustable. These are the very important topics. And this teeth setting and articulator chapter also around two, three questions you can expect every year in your INICT. In the special techniques, mainly the focus is on tissue conditioners and your relining, rebasing. So tissue conditioners and the relining, they form the major part of this important topics in the special techniques. Extra cover is the most important when it comes to your CD, because in this you will see a lot of image based questions. Image based are very important and your past repeats. So in CD, most of the time they will ask you questions either on image based or when we see the past repeats, then most of them are somewhere related to the past SR papers of Prosto. So for CD, it's very important to do your SR papers. So the three most important topics in CD are your impression procedures, the teeth setting and articulators and your extra cover. And in the other chapters, you only have to focus on the high yield topics like your posterior palatal seal, the stress bearing areas, VDR video and tissue conditioners. 
next is rpd now in rpd if we see most important chapter is the first chapter your classification and introduction in this you should know about kennedy's classification all the six classes then the apple gate rules these two are most important in this chapter then next is major and minor connector again a very important chapter when it comes to rpd in major and minor connector majorly you need to know the types in detail so which is a palatal bar major connector such things and again minor connectors you have to know the classification for minor connector what are all the types of minor connector which is used with, with which minor connector is used in what all cases what are the indications and contraindications then rest direct retainer and indirect retainer in this mainly you have to see rpa and rpi concept that is your clasps in the direct retainers then classification for your rests then what is a indirect retainer and what are the uses of indirect retainer along with this you need to know a little bit about fulcrum in this then in survey survey and design major focus will be on your image based questions in image based they can ask you a nays surveyor or a williams surveyor or a jelensko surveyor so they will give you image and tell you to identify which of the following surveyor is this then they will ask survey lines this is another important topic what is a high line medium low so most of the times they can ask you a question on survey lines in this again there is another topic the relief of undercuts relief or the block out so which block out you will give so there are four types of these block outs the parallel block out relief block out etc this is a very common question in aims they often ask match the following where they will give you which block out is used in which area and in the extra cover again you will have your past repeats and the image based ones so again the extra cover is important now in rpd you cannot actually leave anything the only thing is that you have to focus on these important topics in each chapter which i have told you next is fpd fpd in fpd the thing is that there are very few topics which are very important for example your finish lines is very important pontics is very important and the principles of tooth preparation these three are most important and the chapter number 2 3 4 this you have to do in a tabular format you have to compare all the classes the three crowns metal ceramic all ceramic all metal you have to compare these three same is for your finish lines again you have to compare which finish line is given where which one uses a shoulder finish line or a chamfer finish line what is the finish line for the lingual surface of a metal ceramic these are very common questions in these then in laminates and bridges they can also ask you about the different bridges the rochet bridge the maryland bridge and the virginia bridge for these three they can give you image based also so you have to focus on the images of these three which is used where which looks like so you have to identify from the image itself whether it is a maryland bridge or a rochet bridge or a virginia bridge then in the extra cover again the past years questions the pyqs will be asked and again they will have images so the extra cover is again very important so in fpd the most important are your principles of tooth preparation pontics finish lines and extra cover in the principles you have to read about the four to five principles such as your resistance retention form structural durability marginal integrity and preservation of periodontium so all these five then you have to know about one more thing in fpd which is important the anti's law for your abutment selection 
then in the pontics only most important is your classifications so they will ask you the indications for a saddle pontic or a modified rit lab or ovate where what where in what conditions you will use what type of pontic that's it so in prosto if we see you have to focus on all the chapters but in all chapters you have to focus on specific things two three topics are very important in each chapter and others you can leave out next is your past year inicet papers minimum last 10 years you have to do and then the special question set so if you see in your inicet power pack in the cd section that is in your complete denture section you will find these two tasks one is on image based and other on special question set so in the cd section only we have covered all the three that is your cd fpd and rpd the past year papers including your sr questions or recent article questions or any recent advances next is to practice and revise at least 3 to 4 revisions are needed for a subject like prosto why because prosto is a very very conceptual subject not a factual subject that is why most students face difficulty in this because you have to understand the concepts only then you can recollect in the exam it is not a subject where you can memorize things you have to understand what is a palatal bar what is a palatal strap which what is the indication for which one and when you the smart revision tip here is you have to follow this sequence first you start with cd because cd will cover your 50% syllabus then go to fpd because fpd is comparatively much easier than your rpd has very less significant topics like three or four topics such as finish line your principles pontics etc so you can cover this easily and most of the students find it difficult in rpd this is the difficult aspect because most are not able to understand what is a distal extension bridge or ridge or what is a class 4 class 3 what what type of major connector will be used where what is a incisal rest versus what is a occlusal rest so these are the common doubts so students take a lot of time to grasp the concepts of rpd so that is why better is first complete your cd followed by fpd and at last you leave the rpd so that even if you are not able to do the rpd properly you have covered almost 80 80% of your prosto syllabus hope you found this video useful with this we come to the end of this section also if you have missed out on any of the inicet revision strategy videos we have created a special playlist on youtube just for you so go to our youtube channel and you can watch that playlist and you can see all the revision strategy videos for different subjects i have given the link in the description below go and check it out if you like the content and want to watch more such videos do follow us on instagram and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have not yet downloaded the meritus app you can go to the play store or the app store and download it thank you and all the best for your exams